Hey guys, welcome back to Telecom Talk. Today we have the special OnePlus 11 or 5G and we'll be unboxing this retail unit of the smartphone and I'll give you my initial impressions of the device. Now, while I know that a lot of you already know the specifications and the price of the smartphone, I would still suggest that you watch this video and see my take on it because, you know, A, I have already used the device, but this is the first time that I will be interacting with the retail unit of it. So I'd, I would like to give you my initial impressions as well. So please watch the video till the end and make sure if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel if you like our videos and give this video a thumbs up as well. Let's go ahead with the video. So guys, here we have the OnePlus 11 R 5 g retail unit. Now I've already opened the plastic cover of the box and we can see that you know i have the 16 gb ram variant plus 256 gb internal storage now i still don't understand why oneplus went with the 16 gb variant for the oneplus 11r uh, i guess we'll see or we'll understand in the coming months what the users actually want from this device but it is powered by the powerful qualcomm snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor so it should deliver a lot of power to gamers as well without delving too much more into specifications right now we'll just open the box and we'll go through the contents of it. So first of all, you've got the basic box. Inside it, we'll get the basic manuals as well as the cover for OnePlus device. And here we have the OnePlus 11R. Now this is the star of the show. We'll come back to it a little later. We'll just skip this over here and we'll see what else is in the box. There's a 100 watt fast charger. This is included in the box, so thanks for that OnePlus. This is the Type-C cable again and uh, you know there's nothing much more so we'll just talk about the device now let's remove the plastic from this beautiful smartphone now as you may have noticed that the design of the oneplus 11r is actually very much similar to the design of the oneplus 11 5g if you want to see here is the oneplus 11 5g on the left hand you can see that it has the hasselblad branding on the camera while the oneplus 11r misses on that Apart from that, you know, both the devices actually have similar sort of finish and have the similar design. Now, I don't understand the concept behind that, but I guess OnePlus is going for a more uniform look for its devices. Maybe something that we will get to see more in the future, but uh, let's keep the OnePlus 11 5G aside for the moment and focus on the OnePlus 11R. You can see that, you know, its camera bump is again exactly like the OnePlus 11 5G. Uh, there's nothing at the top except for the IR blasters and all. And at the left side of the device, you've got the volume rockers and there's nothing else. At the bottom, we'll get the SIM tray over here. There's a Type-C port and then there are speaker grills. There's another set of speakers at the top and, and here's the front camera which is in a pill-shaped cutout. And if you see, there's a power button on the right side as well as the alert slider, which I love in a OnePlus smartphone. So again, it comes with curved edges, which will give you a very premium feel with the smartphone without wasting any more time. Let's just turn on the device. So guys, here we have the OnePlus 11 5G. It's completely booted up. Now let's just see what we get with the smartphone. So first of all, like I said, there are beautiful curved edges, which are actually very, very beautiful. There's a 6.7 inch AMOLED screen, okay. It supports 120Hz refresh rate, so it's ultra smooth. It is super AMOLED fluid display, so it is actually going to give you a very good experience. And then if we just go into what the device is all about, you will see that there is Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 platform, which is very powerful, very efficient. And then there's a 5000 mAh battery, which supports 100W fast charging which is again really good. And if we just talk about the camera, it's a 16 megapixel front camera sensor. There's a 50 megapixel rear primary camera sensor, eight megapixel ultra wide angle sensor, and two megapixel macro sensor. The Android version is 13 right out of the box. And then if we see that this 16 GB RAM variant can actually be expanded by another 12 GB. So it would give us somewhere around 28 GB RAM. Now, I don't know who would really need that, but it is there for the use of it and it is a 256 GB RAM variant. Initial impressions of the device are, you know, actually very good. I don't know whether the camera is at par as the other mid-range devices, but it should be actually good. What I really love about the OnePlus 11R is it doesn't compromise on the premium feeling that the OnePlus 11 5G gives us. 
even though it's a little more affordable it is actually really fast and it is powered by a very very powerful chipset so it should give you a very very good flagship kind of experience i don't doubt that by any sense but how the device actually fares out in the long run only time will tell and i will be testing it for the coming few days and i'll let you know what my review of the device is both on the website of the telecom talk as well as the youtube channel so please again if you've not followed us yet do follow us and whatever questions you have about the device do ask me whether it is about the usb port which is ufs 3.1 or the ram which is lpddr5 which is again really fast okay whatever questions you have just ask me in the comments below and i'll get back to you so this is the oneplus 11 r 5g for you guys and this is the retail unit this is how you will receive it in the box when you purchase it this is the black variant there's also a blue variant for which the video is already out in the telecom talks youtube channel i'll link it in the description below do check it out if you want to and until the time the devices review comes out please take care and do share this video with your friends